Frustrated by a lack of political leadership on climate change, this Toronto dad brought his kids to a day of nationwide protest ahead of the federal leaders' debates tonight and tomorrow. I've got two little kids and they're growing up in a world that doesn't have a lot of promise as a livable place for them. So I'm increasingly frustrated that the that the uh, urgency doesn't seem to be reflected in uh, in what in what our leaders are doing. Spearheaded by climate advocacy group 350 Canada, protesters are demanding candidates commit to stopping fossil fuel expansion and make a plan to transition workers to greener jobs. This is the most important issue right now. It's the most important issue for the election coming up. And it's just not getting the attention it deserves in all of the other things that are happening right now. Without a planet, we don't have anything. Even here in oil-rich Alberta, there are people calling for a halt to new fossil fuel projects. In fact, the health of the earth is a key election concern. Depending on the poll, uh, it's climate change is identified as the top of mind issue, number two or number three, De you know, depends on how the pollster asks the question. So it's certainly a, a significant concern. Harrison says it's increasingly difficult to ignore the effects of climate change and the havoc extreme weather has wreaked on people around the world. Here in Canada too, like flooding, record-breaking heat and wildfires. Even now, months later, crews in BC are still battling more than 200. At the protest in Toronto, six-year-old Frederick has a message for political leaders. Please change what you're doing right now and please make sure that everyone has a good future to live in. Hopeful, whichever party is elected come September 20th, is listening. Paige Parsons, CBC News, Edmonton.